Good morning, you guys, and welcome to the vlog. We are going to Target. We are going to Target. That is exactly what we're doing. We're going to Target because there are a bunch of things that we need to pick up for our new house, like stuff to organize our things in the drawers. Um, we need all the good stuff, plus Christmas decorations because it is already December and we don't have our decorations up. So we are slacking and we need to get those up as soon as possible. So yeah, we'll take you guys shopping with us and hopefully not all the Christmas decorations are already sold out because that is my fear. <laughs> Target. <laughs> All right, laddie. Pew, 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 pew. Target. But first, coffee. It's messy. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Anything with fake snow on, it's gonna be messy. We gave series mom our uh, old Christmas tree <laughs> and uh, they were putting it in their house just dumping fa the fake snow all over their their living room it was really funny because it's what happened to us when we put it up last year I was sneezing Siri was sneezing and like it was in our nose holes <laughs> I haven't had a sip of this yet there's too much going on what do you mean? I feel overwhelmed. Why, because you want everything? Because I'm holding your coffee, pushing a cart, trying to remember our list, and vlog. We don't have a list, we're just gonna wander. All right, you guys, this is hard because I'm trying to think of decorations that we can buy that we can actually use to decorate our house because we still don't have a couch. We, our floors aren't gonna be going in probably until after Christmas. So the only areas that we can decorate is like a corner in the living room where our Christmas tree is going to go and the kitchen. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But this is <laughs> proving to be hard. This is cute, but I don't know where we could put it. We could put it on our front door, but it's kind of small for our door. Yeah, it's too small. Siri's looking through all this stuff right here. And then I pointed out this bag. I'm like, this is what we need. So when we go into the movie theaters, we can hide a full rotisserie chicken in there. Get it, Siri. <laughs> get it. You want my help? I literally can't get it. I got it. Oh, wow. It smells like deodorant. Men's deodorant. <laughs> That's Christmas. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Smell it. Smell like that smells thing? like a tree, for sure. It smells like a public restroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Christmas. It. Goes in the cart. All right, we are on our almost our second loop around Target. We just keep going around and around and around and around and around until we find everything that we want. So this is the cart right now. You want to tell them about the cart? No, I'm telling you what I'm looking for. Oh, what are we looking for? We're looking for. One of those wooden like paddleboard things that you can like spank people with, but I want to like put it on a kitchen counter. For like pizza? But like skinnier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's for bread. That's not a pizza. I didn't say for pizza, for spanking. For spanking. Oh, gotcha. Alright, this is what we got so far. We got some measuring cups. We got some vases, some little wood pieces for the kitchen. We found this super cute ornament, which is gonna be perfect. Oop, I just dropped it for a Christmas tree. And then these ornaments, we got a bath mat, 
this candle. I think there's one more candle in there. This super cute little pine tree thing and some other pieces that are hidden in there. John. There's the little houses I found. <gasps> You're welcome. I found the little houses. They're salt and pepper shakers though. Perfect, we'll put some salt and pepper in them. John just asked me if we should wrap all this in presents and give it to ourselves for Christmas. And that makes no sense because they're literally decorations for Christmas. You're welcome. That's it, I'm not going. Ask. John wants to know if he's the only one that jumps on the shopping cart when he's rolling it to the stall to put it away. I ride it all the way, all the way from the car, all the way to the stall. Do you do that? I do. Every single time. Every single time, guys. Comment down below if you do this too. Anyways, we are done Target shopping. That was overwhelming but honestly so much fun John and I have never really like spent the money or the effort into decorating our condo where we lived before so it's fun to like actually put some thought into it and pick out decorations for a new house I'm super excited I'll do like a little um, Target haul when we get back to the house but first things first we're going to my mom's house to go say hi to them and eat their food because that's what we do. And there's a couple more errands we have to run before we go home. All right, the lighting is super dark, but we're back at the house and yeah, it's been raining all day, so the lighting is just gonna stay dark, but I wanted to show you guys a little Target haul of everything we picked up because we picked up so many fun decorations. So the first thing that we got is this cute little Pine tree, pine cone, flocked decoration, and I think this is gonna go somewhere in the kitchen. And then we got a little waste basket for our bathroom because we needed one of those. Um, this is something that we picked up from our condo, and it's what we use to like hang a wreath on the front door. I got this from Target like last Christmas. Let's see, these are some mugs. Nope. That is not a mug. Um, it's just another vase decoration. Probably will go somewhere in this area because the areas that we can mainly decorate are the kitchen and this little corner right here where our Christmas tree is gonna go because the wood guy, the installer, came by to test the wood again and the moisture levels and basically instructed us to take them out of the boxes and stack them like this which has literally taken John like at least four hours to do this, four or five hours, and we're still a little under halfway done. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be our living room for who knows how long. When he checked the moisture levels in the wood, he had told us that they are still not close to being ready. Um, and we had an appointment with him on the 11th, which is next week, next Wednesday, I think, um, to install the wood and... He said he's still gonna show up, ready to install it and check the wood, but not to count on it. He thinks that the soonest he can put them in is going to be after Christmas. But it's all right, it's just the situation. And so yeah, this is going to be our living room for possibly the rest of December. Hopefully we'll get the wood in sooner, but I'll give you guys a closer look at the wood. This is the back side, and then this is the finished side that will be used. He had to stack them like every other so they don't get scratched and then over here we have all of our christmas decorations from last year that we'll probably still be using this year um, especially when we get our christmas tree up and that'll be sometime next week we're gonna go cut down a christmas tree because we pulled a permit to cut one down and we just have to wait until it stops raining the next thing we picked up at target are these really cute mugs they're just super simple but they are like the perfect size for like obviously tea or coffee or hot cider or hot toddies, like they're gonna be so perfect for winter. And they were only four bucks. So we picked up a couple of those. The next thing we got are these cute little house salt and pepper shakers that we'll have somewhere in the kitchen. Then I bought a toothbrush holder for the bathroom. I thought this was super cute. 
super exciting Q-tips. And I showed you guys this at the store, but these super cute little ornaments. We wanted to pick up an ornament to kind of like remember our first year in our first house. So we picked up this little one and these ones, super cute. We picked up a lot of stuff from the Hearth and Hand collection. But yeah, I just thought they're so cute and so simple and I love the neutral colors. The next thing we got were these super cute like metal measuring cups and spoons because we needed some. Ours had like, were plastic and fell down the garbage disposal in our sink. Not this sink, but the sink in our townhome. So it was time for a new set. Um, then John insisted that he got this ice cube tray that makes the little sphere ice cubes. So he can feel fancy, probably just drinking apple juice or something. <laughs> we'll see if he gets really fancy and makes a drink drink. But then we got this candle and it smells so good, literally like Christmas. So I had to pick up one of those. We also got this little gold vase, this wood bowl that will probably go in the kitchen somewhere. Maybe I'll put some fruits or I can't decide if some pine cones would look good in this for winter. So we got that. And then the last thing we got is a shower mat because we needed one of these. I have almost slipped on the tile in our bathroom a couple times. So yeah, that is what we picked up from Target. And now we are going to decorate our new house. So cue the decoration montage. Okay, so I'll show you guys the finished product. There isn't a lot I could do since the tree isn't up yet, but here's this little corner. Things might move around a little bit, but I'm feeling like I like this in the kitchen. And I might move this or keep this here. If I move it, I'll put something else in it. But we have this corner right here. And then over here, I put the pine cones in this little wooden bowl, which I like. And then I have the salt and pepper shakers, the pine tree candle, so that's the kitchen. And then here is our living room, since we don't have a sofa or TV or a tree yet. So for now, I just laid out this cute little garland and I will probably put a candle in this. And then I have a pillow. We have more of these pillows, but John brought this one over, so we might as well use it as a decoration. And when we're doing stuff in the living room, sometimes I'll just throw the pillow against the wall and sit on it. So this is kind of our temporary couch chair seating situation. And then I still have, like I said, a bunch of Christmas decorations over here that will be going up once we get our tree up. Our house is still feeling kind of empty, but it does feel good to finally have some decorations in here. Um, it definitely makes it more homey, but I'm going to end the vlog here because it's getting late and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.